My name is Ingrid Stengler. I teach at McBride Secondary School. McBride is a little town of about 600 people. It's nestled in the Robson Valley. So we're located between Prince George and Jasper on Highway 16, about two hours from each. It's a beautiful spot. The mountains here are gorgeous and the, the Fraser River meanders to the valley and there's farm fields. So it's quite appealing in terms of being nestled in a valley. I grew up in Regina, Saskatchewan. I went to high school there as well as university. So after I finished university, I went and I traveled. I went to New Zealand and Australia for a year. I actually taught in New Zealand for a short stint, a little tiny contract. And then I came back and quickly found a job in Rocky Mountain House, which is a couple hours from Calgary. And I worked there for two and a half years. And then I took another break for travel and did my master's at UBC and headed out to Squamish uh, to work a program there. And then I couldn't move any further west, so I traveled up north and found McBride. And I've been here since then. The sheer physical beauty of the area of McBride made me want to move here. I can actually put my skis on and go out my door and ski up a mountain 12 kilometers if I want and then go through the ridge lines. I could be up forever. It's nice to garden in the summer. It's nice to have hot weather. Um, later in the fall, we get beautiful sandbars when the river retreats a bit. We jet boat and do lots of fun things. The school is really neat. Uh, when the windows are open, I find myself staring out into the mountains. The kids get distracted weekly by a deer going by. They eat right outside of the classroom window. If it was open, you could touch them. It's neat because you actually really get to know the kids because you teach them over several years, but more like an elementary school model. You really know your kids and that's really neat. And then you cater to them and what their needs are and that's really satisfying. For some people it might be intimidating to teach in a variety of subjects. I actually really love it. I think you get stronger in different subjects because you know how to link them. I'll do a quick little drama thing that will support my English class later and the kids don't even notice <laughs> because it's drama and it's fun. My husband and I visited Burns Lake, a small town. We were really inspired by their trail network that they built there. The people who started it were teachers at the high school and they said, oh, we started our club with three people and we said, okay, so we started a club with three people and soon enough uh, we started a whole mountain bike infrastructure program. Last year we opened about 10 kilometers of trail, which is new to the community. Um, we didn't really have any low mountain walking trails. There's a lot of hiking in the Alpine, but it's you need a 4x4 to get up to it. And it's such a short season and uh, built some mountain bike trails and just, I do a lot of grant writing. I spend hours <laughs> grant writing, uh, but we've managed to get about $150,000 so far for our efforts and uh, we have a crew out there working and building some trails this year. So it's really nice. Um, my son and I spend a lot of time on the trails. He plays in the bush and eats tons of snacks and I kind of lop away with my cutters. It's really neat, like raising a child here. Every single person in every store knows his name and talks to him, and it's really special that way. I really think that's a really important thing about small town living. I live really far away from my grandparents and my family, and but I feel like I'm part of a family. Uh, you can ask anyone for help. It's uh, a good community feeling or community spirit.